this is the riveting content you guys all come to me for. Well, yesterday was a weird one. Happy Vlogmas Day 17. I cannot believe we're still doing this, y'all. Yesterday was really, really very wild. I only got power like not that long ago. So today's vlog went, went up super late. I really didn't do much but like actually catch up on emails this morning and like just get my life together because there was like so much that needed to be done. But I am gonna go shopping today because why not? And I want your opinion, um, which jacket I should wear with this outfit. Also probably should fix my face a little bit because She's looking kind of dusty busty today, so. Anyways, <laughs> Natalia's laughing at me. She's like, she told me I to need to take a nap because I'm acting like a fool, so. She's probably not wrong, but instead I'm gonna go shopping. Are you sunbathing, Mia? Are you sunbathing? Okay. I just wearing a pair of good American jeans with that Jolly Vibes. <laughs> t-shirt, which is actually kind of a little too big, but is that a better angle? <laughs> okay, do we like it with the jacket? Or should I go with this other jacket? <laughs> or, okay, so this is a little bit, I'm just looking, I don't know, this is, I bought this as a pajama shirt and I really want to wear it today, but I don't know, it doesn't really do <laughs> It doesn't do much for me. I might have to like crop it under my belt or something. Or do I put this jacket on? I guess I could do something like this. I don't know, y'all. Maybe this fit is not the vibe. I might need to go change. All right, I did a full on outfit change. I'm wearing those fuzzy sneakers that I'm obsessed with. These are Nike sweats, and then just like an oversized top that I cropped. And I finally kind of put my face together too, so let's go shopping. Gotta get gas. stand pumping gas it's like my least favorite thing to do ever i hate coming to the gas station and just having to see people it's just like the one thing i hate to do in my life which is why i can't wait till the tesla comes because i will no longer have to do this anymore ah i can't wait <laughs> reason number one million and fifty why i hate getting gas now somebody's car is like beeping and it's like been beeping for five minutes and i just got a notification that my tires need to be inflated because the temperature dropped so now i need to go put air in my tires and i hate doing that as well because i never know how to read this read the speedometer no what is it called <laughs> The, whatever the gauge the gauge I don't know how to read the gauge so my dad bought this for me for Christmas last year because I made him fill up my tires every time the tires went low because I didn't know how to read the thing so this little guy looks like a little gun basically and you just like attach it to the wheel and then it shows you how much you need to add I think so we're gonna use this this is the riveting content you guys all come to me for. Okay, so it shows you. 29. You gotta fill it up to like 30 something. See? So the part I never know is like how much air to actually put in, which is why you need that little gauge thing, because it shows you at the end where your tire pressure is. Okay, let's see. 34, I think that's good enough. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit in the other ones just in case. Okay, 
guys like all the trees you see this this is wild they're like decimated oh my god houses and like on this side too look at that tree dang that one is busted holy shit wow and that just like missed that house We went to Lululemon, Lush, Ever Eve, and Sephora, and it was a really good time. But I have to tell you all, I have the worst headache from walking into Lush. It is so fragrant, it's just like sickeningly so. Like, it was just way, way too fragrant in there. So if you're sensitive to smells, I do not recommend going into Lush because, whoo! It is super fragrant in there, but we're about to go get some dinner and then we need to clean that room, y'all. We're actually gonna do it today. We're gonna do it. So I did some damage today. Let's start with what I got from Sephora. My mom swears by these. These are Sephora's facial razor set. This is what I use when I want a dermaplane. And she said these are like, these are some serious razors, so I'm excited to give these a try because I can't find any of my dermaplaning tools right now, so we're gonna try these out. I got another brow gel. I'm obsessed with brow gels. This is the Air Brow Nourish Fluff Hold It Brow Gel from Kosas. And then I got a new oil. This was super attractive to me. This is the oil from Herbivore. It's the emerald oil. And I really was like a sucker for the packaging and I read every single package of, that they had there for their oils because I wanted to get a new one for home. And this is the one that I landed on. It is an oil that's specifically made to like smooth your skin and it helps to like enhance the glow. And it also has cannabis sativa in it. And it's just like supposed to be like soothing and hydrating and do all of the good things. Plus this packaging is just like 10 out of 10. If you watched my last Sephora haul, you saw that I tried to buy dry shampoo and it did not work for me. It literally made me look like I had full on gray hair. So I tried this in store. This is from Playa. This is another clean brand and I really, really love this shampoo. It's a clear spray. You don't see any residue whatsoever. It smells really good too and it seems to work. I put it in my hair today and I really, really like the results and how it feels. So this will be my new dry shampoo. I'll probably update you guys in like a month or two if this is like a holy grail hair item or not. This is Brio Geo's um, avocado mask. I really, really love how this mask works in my hair. The slip in it is amazing. This product is so, so good. I can't live without it. It is definitely like a holy grail hair item for me. You need it, and it works for curly hair, straight hair, works for all hair types. And then I went to Lush, which again, I don't recommend going to Lush if you uh, are sensitive to smells because that was intense. And I did end up getting a lotion for myself. This is this hand balm in the Sweet Wild Orange scent. It smells super good. It kind of reminds me of like orange sherbet, like, oh my God and that's what it looks like on the inside. It's very creamy. 
and it works really, really well for, you know, just keeping your hands moisturized in this dry climate. And then I got a Christmas present for someone, which I think they're gonna love. This is for my best friend's sister, and I think she's really, really gonna love this. I'm not gonna open it up what's inside because obviously this is a gift for her. And yeah, but Lush is pretty cool if you know people that like love, you know, luxury bath bombs and like all that stuff. So I went a little crazy at Ever Eve. I love Ever Eve. Ever Eve is not a plus size store. They do not sell plus size clothes. However, they do sell brands and clothes that fit me and work really well for my body. So I really love going there and the customer service is like 10 out of 10 there. Like they're kind of in, in like, they're just so, so nice. And they give you like different stuff to try. So I found these sick shoes for the holidays. I'm gonna be wearing these in Miami for New Year's. I think they're super, super cute. And the heel is like not too high, but not too low. And I love Dolce Vita heels. They're some of my favorites. And these are super, super cute. So love those. I got the cutest sweater. It's like a cardigan sweater. This is so cute. It looks even better on and it's super cropped and it just like is perfect like that chunky very oversized kind of style of sweater it's super soft super warm perfect for the cold and i love everything about it i'll link it below for you all if you want to check it out for yourself and i've got this half zip that is literally i feel like i'm going to be living in this like the next couple of months because i love my loungewear and I pretty much live in loungewear. This is just super basic. I love the oatmeal color that it is, and I think the zipper is really, really beautiful. Kind of gives you like a little preppy vibe, but she's still cute. I got a basic tee that looks so good on. This is from Z Supply. It looks a lot longer than it actually is. It's definitely a little more cropped on me, but it's like got this beautiful stretch to it. And it's also like kind of compression at the same time. So I really, really love how like this holds everything in. I probably could get away with not wearing a bra with this. And I really, really liked that a lot. And then last but not least, this is something that I got for like more of those modest moments in your life, you know, when you kind of like need to be a little more covered up. Like if you're going to your grandparents' house or like, I don't know, church or anything along those lines, this is just a really great top to have and i don't own anything in this blue color and it's just a very different kind of top than what i would typically buy this is from a brand that's called sundry and it's super soft it's really stretchy this is in a size three they go up to a size four and i loved how it fit and it was perfect and it has like a slight little balloon sleeve because of the like ruching that it has here but it's super cute on and last but not least lululemon i love lululemon they really i didn't start wearing them a lot until they sent me a bunch of pr at the beginning of this year and i wanted to get a new pair of oh no the bag's ripped i wanted to get a new pair of leggings and i love this like cerulean blue like deep teal blue color i just think it's so beautiful these are their um wonder train tights they're the 25 inch long tight and i think that color is just so beautiful and fun for spring i got this black top that is high in the front and then it's like a v-neck in the back but you can wear it either way and this is called the power pivot tank i actually ordered this in two other colors as well um, online because it's on sale for i think 29 dollars right now and this is again it's another like top that's compression that you don't have to wear a bra with and what i love too is that it comes up so high that you can wear it to yoga and not have to worry about like your top house falling out when you do like downward dog and stuff like that last but not least is this really really pretty yellow colored top that is like a bra at the same time i really loved how this fit me too it's a little tighter than i would like but it's like perfect and the color is so pretty on my skin tone and then the tops are in a size 14 and the bottoms are in an 18 for me. That's everything that I got today when we went shopping. Now, let's go clean that room because it's atrocious. <laughs> I'm finally committed to cleaning this room. Natalia is with me. She's going to be cleaning with me because clearly I can't be held accountable on my own. So we're going to make this happen. <laughs> this is what we're currently working with. So we're going to time lapse this and... Get to cleaning.
is finally clean. It looks so good. It literally has not looked this good since I moved here. Like it's never looked this good, not once. I'm so excited because I'm actually gonna be able to use this space now. It's just gonna be such a great space for me to like get dressed, get ready, put PR, do workouts. <sighs> I'm so excited. So let me show you all what the reveal is because it's pretty good. Right off the bat, you can see we have a clean floor everywhere. My nail stuff is put away. All my coats are on this rack. These are all the new ones. Here is my shoe and purse rack. I think this looks so good. I'm so excited, y'all. And then I have a mirror so you can check out your outfits. And then this has new clothes or PR clothes or anything along those lines that is stuff I want to share on socials. I'm so excited. <laughs> This room has literally never, ever, ever looked so good. It's amazing. And then on this other wall, there is a huge TV, which is perfect because if I want to do yoga or like my online fitness classes, I have all this space now to be able to come in here and do that. So I love this room. I'm so excited that it's complete. This has been a long time coming. This room is finally functional. I'm going to be able to do all the things that I want to do in it. And it's just perfect. Obviously, this is going to all be changed and switched up in a couple months when California Closets comes and renovates the entire room. And they're also going to be renovating my closets. So I cannot wait for that. But I'm super excited to be able to finally use this space again and just to be able to feel like I'm at peace with having everything finally unpacked and put away and it has a place and we need to come up with some more storage because I don't have enough storage still but things are looking really really good. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I had so much fun shopping with you all today and cleaning and I hope you have a beautiful evening. Get some rest and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!